Two separate mechanisms allow individuals and groups in the Americas to seek the protection of the inter-American system when their human rights have been violated or are at risk. These mechanisms, the individual petition system and requests for precautionary measures, each have their own rules and procedures. The petitioner, or person submitting the complaint, can be an individual, or a group of people, or a non-governmental organization recognized by any OAS member state. If the petitioner and victim are not the same person, the Commission can keep the petitioner's identity confidential. But, the Commission must always have the petitioner's current contact information and the petitioner's authorization if someone else will represent the petitioner or communicate with the Commission on his or her behalf. Petitions and requests may use the standard form and can be submitted online, by postal mail, by email, or by fax. Whenever possible, petitions should be written in the official language of the accused country. The petition must provide specific minimum information as listed in Article 28 of the Commission's Rules of Procedure. Identify the victim or group of victims, who may include family members if they also suffered harm. Individually name the victims or identify the specific defined group or community they belong to. Describe the alleged harm in detail. How did a situation, occurrence, or series of events keep an individual or group from enjoying certain human rights? Explain why the government is responsible for the harm through the actions, acquiescence, or omissions of the state itself or its representatives. Identify the specific officers, agencies, law, or policies that caused or allowed the violation to occur. Identify the state where the violation occurred and the state responsible for its occurrence. These are usually the same country but may be different or multiple countries. If the state has not ratified the American Convention, the petition must allege a violation of a right protected by the American Declaration. Identify the date or time frame of the alleged violation, which must be after the state agreed to comply with the American Declaration or American Convention. The victim must exhaust domestic remedies which means going to the local courts and pursuing civil or criminal proceedings to try to resolve the problem. This generally means appealing to the highest court of appeals that has jurisdiction if a successful outcome is not reached in the lower courts. Submit the petition within six months of when the victim exhausted domestic remedies. If domestic remedies are unavailable, ineffective, or insufficient, the petition must be submitted within a reasonable time or as soon as it is clear that the state is unlikely to remedy the violation on its own. The Commission cannot resolve a complaint that has already been decided by another international dispute settlement mechanism with similar jurisdiction, such as the UN Human Rights Treaty Body Complaints Mechanism. If requesting precautionary measures, explain the risks faced, whether the state is informed of those risks, and if so, if the government has undertaken any protective action or investigation.